Each year in October, many families carve jack-o'-lanterns to scare their neighbors and trick-or-treaters. But did you know that this tradition is based on an old Irish legend? Come with me to discover the legend of Stingy Jack as we look under the veil. Long ago in Ireland, there was a blacksmith called Stingy Jack. He was lazy, a swindler, and a thief. He was the town drunk. There are a few versions of his tale. In one, after a long night of drinking at the pub and finding it was time to pay his tab, but finding his pockets empty, he declared he would sell his soul for one last drink. Hearing his call, the devil appeared agreeing to transform into a coin to pay for that drink in return for Jack's soul. Once Satan was turned into a coin, Jack quickly put the coin in his pocket next to a crucifix. The Prince of Darkness could not handle the pain of being next to this holy object. He agreed to give Jack many more years of life and never take his soul to hell in exchange for being set free. In another version of the tale, Jack had come to the end of his life, and after being such a rotten, horrible person, the devil came personally to collect him and take him to hell. Along the way, they saw an apple tree, and Jack requested that the devil go up into the tree and get him one last apple as a free soul. Beelzebub must have been feeling generous that day and agreed. Once he was up in the tree, Jack sprung into action, carving a cross in the trunk of the tree, as Satan could not cross it to come back down. Again in this version, Jack makes a deal to save his eternal soul from hell. After an agreement was reached, he cut the cross out of the trunk of the tree, and Satan was free to go. In all versions of the tale, what happens next is the same. At the end of his life, and free from the threat of hell, he goes to the gates of heaven. St. Peter tells him he is far too wicked for heaven and turns him away. For a long time, Jack wandered in the dark void of the spirit realm. Eventually, he realized that hell is the only place he can go. He followed the light of hell straight to the devil himself. The devil was all too happy to turn Jack away. Jack requested some light to find his way back to earth to haunt as a ghost. Satan threw him an ember of hellfire. He caught it and he was cursed. The fire of hell filled his body. He was cursed to walk the earth with the fire itself in his eyes. Once back on earth, he found a turnip in someone's garden and carved it out to make a lantern to hold his ember of hellfire. This, friends, is why today we carve jack-o'-lanterns to ward off spirits and hopefully frighten them into thinking they are coming face to face with Stingy Jack. Thank you so much for joining me on this trip under the veil. If you enjoy spooky things like this, please make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you will be notified when the next journey is about to begin. Thank you so much, friends. Good night.